And what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy here, and it is Saturday. It is a foggy. Whoa, there's a there's a guy. There's a UPS guy, really, right now, just walking to our. Let me take care of that, and then get right back to what I was about to say. Okay, that may or may not have been Christmas gifts. My mouth is shut. Anyway, guys, it is Saturday, the twelfth, I think it is, of December, in the Jubilee Jordan Eleven uh, Twenty Fifth Anniversary just dropped and hold on i'm tired they kind of look like one of my favorite jordan 11s i would probably say my favorite jordan 11 because it is the only jordan 11 that i actually paid resale for it was the first shoe i ever bought from StockX, which we're talking about the 72 and 10s and i saw those jubilees come out i was like oh they really do remind me of those a little bit of mixture between those and maybe the space jams but anyway for me it is a definitely a must cop Yesterday was crazy because on the Flex app, uh, I did hit for a my size on Foot Locker and then it just all went to hell. I mean, I could not get into Champs. I couldn't get into Foot Action or anything. It was really crazy. You know, with the uh, time limit you get to confirm if you get a pair, even though I barely ever get a pair. I, I was kind of hopeful because I had, had already hit on Foot Locker, but I was able to eventually get in there and confirm that uh, I did not hit anything on Champs, but on Foot Action, I did get waitlisted. Funny thing is, it's the next morning that I'm still waitlisted on foot action. But I think now what they're doing is they're waitlisting you uh, until the shoes are picked up. And Champs and foot action and foot locker, they have uh, now two days to pick up. So I'll probably be waitlisted until the end of tomorrow. But anyway, on sneakers drop, your boy did enter on one, two, three, four, five, five, five devices. And I hit on four. So I got four pairs of those Jubilees coming all in my size. Now, I don't know if they were going to be bricks. I was kind of waiting to see, watching the prices and say, okay, I can flip some to probably make my pair as cheap as possible. I'll do that like I used to last year, you know, when we were able to cop a lot of pairs. Prices actually started going up. Now, they're probably going to go down. I did hit on a finish line earlier this week for the same size, 10 and a half, at the same mall, but uh, I hit in my wife's name, and then she, she's afraid of the COVID. Uh, Pennsylvania's got like this whole thing going on right now, so she's out of the store right now shopping, but she's afraid to go to the but anyway, so she won't go with me down the mall to pick up that pair. So I'm just going to forfeit the one. So we just got uh, one, two, three, five pairs. Uh, we will have one in hand today. So that's what really matters because I want to do a, a quick little review of it. Maybe I can compare those to the 72 and 10. So guys, let's uh, go ahead and get to this. I think we're going to take the Mustang out. Even though it's it's super, super foggy out. I don't know if I should take out the Mustang or just take out the... Oh, Mustang it is. Let's go. Oh crap, it hasn't been charged. It's supposed to be on a trinkle charge. And it's been a while since I actually started it. So let's see if it even starts up. Oh, it started. All right, we're good to go. All right. 40 miles to E. Got to put some gas in this thing real quick. Gonna save you guys the ride and just end up at the mall. So I'll see you there. All right, I said I was gonna let you guys skip the ride, but man, you gotta see this, man. It is so foggy out here right now. It's crazy. It's, I mean, look can't really see anything i probably should not have taken this car out here today uh you know being my uh precious mustang but damn it's, it is what it is guys we're out here we're doing it we're not gonna do anything crazy we're just gonna get to the mall get these shoes and get back home but yeah i just wanted to show you guys this so uh now we can go to the mall man that thing looking good see i'm glad i bought it now because i just love looking at it and i don't get to drive it too often but made it all the way here and almost get hit by a car in the parking lot. Got some of the off-white Jordan 5s on. If you want to know a little bit more about these, check out my other channel, BC Reviews. Are we going to go in here just pick up these shoes real quick? No moseying, no, uh, no lollygagging. I did go ahead and throw this pair that I'm about to pick up on GOAT already. It looks like the price is already rising on GOAT. They're like 318 320-ish. So uh, I'll sell my pair for that amount of money. All right, let's go grab this pair. Bit of a line. Are you saying All right, guys, we did secure our pair of Jubilees at Foot Locker. Um, they thought I was filming the actual cashier who's 16. Like, really, dude? Come on, dude. I'm, I'm just trying to film the box. A little incident there, but we still did manage to secure our pair. I had like the manager or somebody come up. He's like, yo, she's only 16. I'm like, okay. Who? <laughs> Not filming your cashier. I'm filming the box. 
So this is a message to uh, whoever that guy was that came up to me at the register. Yeah, you're, you're fouled. <laughs> Check out my video sometime, all right? Yo, that actually actually has me a little bit mad that he thought that I was in there trying to film that. I'm sorry to harp on this, but I got a 16 year old daughter. So that's just, that's some bullshit there. I'm gonna let it slide. Let it slide, you know? That looks good though. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, she looks good. Let's go home. All right, back at the crib guys. And we are here. We have the pair right here. I haven't seen them. Let's see what the official name is on these things. It is. Air Jordan 11 retro color is black, multi-color, multi-color. Okay, size 10 and a half. I would say that this is my personal pair size. It is my size, but this is already gone because I sold this on the way home on GOAT for, uh, I think, $320-ish. So this one is gone. And just a quick flip. Just wanted to grab these. Let's pull these out here. All right. One and two. I think this new box design is pretty cool. It's hard to close up with one hand, but I got it. These are nice. First thing I kind of noticed right off the bat is that the edging on this just seems to, I don't know, it just seems to pop with the white, the white edges. Let's see, now there's supposed to be a lot of pairs of these, supposedly, but right now, oops, a little bit of, a little bit of fur, a little scratch there. All right, so got a little bit of a scratch there going around the part that everyone kind of talks about which is very minimal if anyone cares and i think you can actually pull those off if you don't want them but i mean why would you even mess with that it's not even bad i like the mesh upper it's got the uh jump man on the side here so that's just like the cap and gown emblem as well it's metal but the cap and gown one is more like a, a black chrome it's like a dark chrome this is like a chrome chrome that's like a rubber material other than that, it's just a normal Jordan 11. It's got the uh, the carbon fiber going on right there. And then the bottom is milky and with the gray pods right there. So yeah, it's a nice clean Jordan 11. Um, I don't see no reason to hate on these bad boys. Oh, has a leather uh, piece going across the center there with your basic rope laces. This is a pretty clean looking shoe. You can't go wrong with a black and white Jordan 11. I mean, you can't go wrong with a black and white shoe at all. What is that though? I mean, I, I don't know what that is. This, hopefully I can wipe that off. I did, I went ahead and I pulled out the 7210s that I bought off StockX a few years ago. The leather upper on the 7210s, man, that, that is plush. This is why this is one of my favorite uh, Jordan 11s of all time. Uh, I know it's not an OG colorway. I just like the shoe for what it is. This also has the milky bottom. This one, of course, is yellowed a little bit. I did a video on uh, using the uh, the sole stuff to unyellow it. It kind of worked, but I think it's probably time for another round of that. Maybe I should do an updated video of that. These had the suede, of course, going on the back, and, and it has the red metallic jump man but this metallic is not this is like a plastic metallic that's like a metal real metal so yeah that's the difference with that um they say that these shoes kind of look alike and they do at first glance but when you really put them next to each other that's a totally different shoe has a different uppers um the 72 and 10s has a different material 72 and 10s in light it actually has like a glitter effect going on like almost like a rainbow color going on on here so that's different so with this being different this being different the soles are even different than the 7210 see look at that the 7210s they got black pods and this has gray pods there's a lot of difference so if you got one of these pairs and you're contemplating whether or not you need to go grab the other one you don't need to grab another pair if you're only you know looking for a one black basically black jordan 11 with a white bottom you know you don't need two of those but if you're trying to say that these are identical or really close shoes no they actually have a lot of differences going on between the two of them based off the materials it's just pretty much all the materials are different on this show you can see here this one has like a piping in white, like a raw material. The 72 and 10s, this is just all black. So I don't know which one I like better regarding the piping. This is a detail that I, I don't really need. I kind of like the cleaner, uh, all black look of the 72 and 10s. But still, regardless, these are dope shoes and definitely a must cop for me. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I hit on four pairs on sneakers, all my size. I will be selling three of them.
So I'm gonna keep one, sell the other three. So uh, hopefully that will help pay for my personal pair. And uh, yeah, if you're mad about that, be mad. I feel like sneakers was super easy for me this morning. Um, I don't know if it was just my method or they were just a lot of pairs. Uh, really, I don't know. I haven't really checked Twitter, other people's YouTube video. I just basically hit on sneakers, did this video and went out to go pick them up. So how did you guys do today? Did you pass on them? Do you think they look too much like the 72 and 10s and you didn't even bother with them because you already have these? Or was this a must cop? It is a 25th anniversary. Rumors are they're not gonna really retro this because it doesn't make sense to retro a 25th anniversary one, two, three years down the line because it's irrelevant at that point. If you're new to this channel, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified every time your boy drops a new video. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram at beastly underscore GT. I do post a lot of sneakers, some car stuff. It used to be more car stuff than sneakers. Now it's more sneakers than car stuff. I think I'm out of this joint. Go ahead, enjoy the rest of your Saturday and later guys.